Le ministère de l'Agriculture et de la Souveraineté Alimentaire et le Office international de l'eau ont joined together within the scope of the Consumer Production Mission to offer professionals an information tool on the health risk linked to shellfish production and harvesting areas. This is the website Atlas of Shellfish Production and Relaying Areas. This website is not intended for recreational fishermen, but those who practice shellfish harvesting can use it as an inspiration. In the event of a health alert, whatever the nature of the contamination, this atlas is updated at the latest within 24 hours after the authorities have taken management measures. Accessible on the internet and on smartphone, this national site allows professionals to follow the different sanitary classification of production areas and their health statutes in real time. The atlas concerns all French coastal areas in metropolitan France where shellfish production is professionally carried out. Regular monitoring of production areas by analyzing shellfish at regular intervals allow the identification of contamination incidents of various kinds, microbiology, chemistry, or the presence of toxins produced by microalgae. These monitored shellfish are grouped into three groups. Group 1 includes marine gastropods, such as abalone and whelks, but also echinoderms, including sea urchins, and tunicates, such as sea figs. Then, group 2 includes burrowing bivalves, such as clams and cockles. And finally, group 3 which includes non-burrowing bivalves such as mussels, oysters, and scallops. Groups 2 and 3 are filter feeders. These different groups can be subject, independently or jointly, to a health alert in the event of a danger making them unfit for direct consumption. The competent authorities then issue a prefectural decree specifying the statute of these zones and the possible measures to be taken by professionals. When the map is viewed on a statute section, the red or green coloring indicate the current L status. Red areas indicate that the area is closed or is subject to operating restrictions in the event of microbiological, phycotoxinic or chemical risk alert. Professionals can use this website to create a notification and thus receive by email health evolutions by departments. The green color indicates that the zone is open and is not subject to any restriction. In addition to the statutes, the sanitary classifications of the area according to their exploitation constraints can also be found in the atlas in the tab Sanitary Classification. The classification is based on the water quality observed in the area. There are six types of area classification for each of the shellfish groups, GP1, GP2 or GP3. A color code distinguishes them. The A classification for which shellfish can be harvested and placed directly on the market. B for which the harvested shellfish require treatments in a purification center or relaying. And finally, the C which requires head treatments or long-term relaying of the shellfish before consumption. There are also special indications. The EO symbol which corresponds to an occasional exploitation area and C to designate an unclassified and therefore unsupervised area. And finally, the letter I to designate a prohibited zone where all activities around the shellfish linked to production, in particular the capture spot, are prohibited. As an example, several configurations can be seen here on the map. A production area can be classified in several ways depending on the shellfish group considered. In this case, Group 1 is classified as A, Group 2 is classified as C, and finally Group 3 is classified as Occasional Exploitation, EO. If you wish to consult the prefectural decree associated with this classification in detail, it is available on the site by clicking on the link. The Minister de l'Agriculture de la Souveraineté Alimentaire and Louis invite you to consult the following address, www.atlas-sanitaire.com coquillage.fr slash en to stay informed about the sanitary quality of the shellfish that you produce.